the names for these things are getting quite complicated. This is a hopper speed auto crafter that also is a precision shulker box loader that is optimized for minimum lag. So this half of it is nothing new. You have seen this in my previous precision shulker box loader video. However, what has changed is this part. This here looks somewhat like a normal filter, but not quite. And that's because of this crafter here. It's one of the new 1.21 blocks. It has nine slots. And if we activate it, it spits out a redstone block in this case. We can also change these slots. So, for example, this can work for all manner of items. For example, slime balls are a really common one to convert them into slime blocks. Or also gold is really nice. This is basically what made gold farms connected to piglin bartering systems really powerful. Because now you can basically convert nine gold ingots into so nine gold nuggets into one ingot automatically without you having to do it manually which saves a huge amount of time and makes all the farms way more convenient the problem with this concept for those who, who thought about it we take in nine items and we spit out only one that's a significant reduction in the system because if you think about it for all the nine items in this hopper this thing will be will allow them to go in but then you need to trigger it only once how do we do this one solution would be to have a, a large local clock that would be in this case since it's nine items 70 two game ticks, 9 by 8 because a hopper can only push one item every 8 game ticks so we use 9 times the length of that interval however a much nicer solution some guys came up with is we can use this sort of layout this looks a little weird at first look because this is just a single slice normally you would have it some Thing like this. But this is also powered for most of the time. And what this does, it forms an end gate. What an end gate is, it's basically something that will send a signal or an output in this case only when both the inputs, in this case it's this line of repeaters and this redstone torch, are triggered at the same time. In this case, it's technically a not end gate because both of them need to be depowered for it to send a signal. But in Minecraft, the conversion from on to off doesn't matter much since this repeater here on, sorry, this observer here only really cares if the dropper changes state. It doesn't care if if it is because it turned on or because it turned off, it just sends the signal. So, why? Well, so we don't have to bother with sending this signal and creating it locally every 72 game takes. We can actually just create it somewhere else and just send it over this line of repeaters. This obviously has the downside of having a long line of repeaters that is being powered, especially when you have less than this, for example, you have only two slots or four, you are powering it quite often. 
it causes a little bit more lag. But at least in my opinion, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Because it makes the whole thing way smaller, way more compact, and really one redstone repeater update per slice every 7 to 2 game things isn't that much lag. But if you wanted to really go crazy on that, you could make a local clock with observers like I did in my video about the box filters. So let's go over how to make one. We need 72 divided by 4, that's 18 of these slabs, so this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and this is the 18th one, so let's, one way to check this is to show the chunk borders, so we can see this starts directly at a chunk border, and the chunk is 16 blocks, and we have two more here. That's perfect. Of course, there are other ways to do this, but I like this one. It's very, very simple, and you easily understand what's going on. can now just do something like this. If you remember in my past videos, it's a problem that we can't easily power a torch with only two game tick impulse, so we might as well send a four game tick one. We can now use this simple startup system you have seen me use in the cobblestone farm video. As you can see, this nicely sends a full game tick signal. If you, for some reason, have concerns that this might empty out, or you simply don't trust the idea of sending a full game tick signal instead of a two game tick one. Well, don't worry, you can simply make this a little longer. Instead of just 18, you can add one or two more. And that's all you really need to get this to work. Obviously, again, remember, the less slots, the less of these repeaters you need. And as usual, if you can't build it from, from this one slice and from my demonstration, you are having a massive lack of knowledge in the game about these things. And first of all, you should learn more about it before you build it, instead of trying to build something you don't understand. That goes for generally all my machines, and I often repeat it in my videos, don't build it unless you understand it.
but for those who understand what's going on and want to use it, I wish you all the luck. It is really not that complicated and I hope it helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever. Send, send me comments, what you like, dislike about the machine. And have a nice day.